plumbing skills. Introduction to the module. Plumbing is connecting and repairing things such as water and drainage pipes, baths, and toilets. This module will teach you the basic plumbing skills, which is mandatory for a handy person to know. Topics to be covered. Fixing a chipped sink. Restoring free flow to a clogged aerator. Unclogging a bathroom sink without chemicals. Unclogging a shower head. Fixing a clogged toilet. Toilet seat repair. Quick fix for a sluggish toilet. Stopping a small plumbing leak. Fixing a chipped sink. It is possible to fix chipped enamel on cast iron and steel sinks and make the repair almost invisible with a special enamel repair kit. You can find two component epoxy, catalyst and hardener, in the adhesive section of most hardware stores and home centers. It's usually available in a variety of colors. If necessary, two colors can be mixed for a more precise match. First, scrub the chipped area thoroughly with a sponge and soapy water. Then rub 400 to 600 grit wet and dry sandpaper over the damaged area to remove dirt and rust, as well as rough up the chip so the epoxy will stick to it. Mix the two epoxy ingredients according to label directions. Match the enamel color and dab it into the chipped area to fill the hole. Use a small brush to fill the chip. If the chip is deep, apply the material in several coats, and don't forget to allow for the drying time specified on the label. Once the repair is complete, wait 24 hours before you use the sink, and don't scrub that area for 7 days. Restoring a free flow to a clogged aerator. If the flow from the kitchen or bathroom faucet isn't what it used to be, the aerator is probably plugged. An aerator can clog slowly as mineral deposits build up or quickly after plumbing work loosens debris inside pipes. Usually, a quick cleaning solves the problem. Wrap the jaws of pliers with electrical tape and unscrew the aerator. Close the stopper so the small parts can't fall down the drain. Disassemble the aerator and lay out the parts in the order you remove them to make the reassembly foolproof. You may need a small screwdriver or knife to pry the components apart. Scrub the parts and reassemble them. Gunk can also build up inside the faucet neck. Clean it out with your finger and flush out the loosened debris. Unclogging a bathroom sink without chemicals. Slow moving or stopped up drains are common in bathroom sinks, but the solution is usually simple and takes only about 15 minutes. The problem is caused by hair and gummy soap scum that get caught on the stopper or pivot rod and clog the drain. Tug gently on the stopper to see if it will come out. If so, remove it. Sometimes it will come right out. If it doesn't lift out, it's held in by the pivot rod. Pull the rod out by unscrewing the pivot rod nut. Use pliers if you can't loosen the nut by hand, you'll be able to lift the stopper out by pulling out the pivot rod. Bend a wire into a tight hook. A light duty clothes hanger or a short length of electrical wire would suffice, and fish out the hair to clear the clog. Pour hot water down the drain to remove any remaining soap scum and ensure the clog is gone. Unclogging a shower head. Over time, hard water minerals in tap water build up and clog the spray holes in shower heads. You can fix this problem by removing the shower head and cleaning it. Unscrew the shower head by gripping the shower neck with a pipe wrench, grabbing the nut on the shower head with the adjustable pliers and turning the pliers counterclockwise until the nut loosens. Protect the finishes on the shower head and wall pipe by wrapping them with a cloth. By soaking the shower head in a vinegar bath overnight and removing the loose mineral scale with a toothpick, you can open the shower head holes. Rinse the shower head in tap water. Then reinstall it by applying Teflon tape to the wall pipe threads, screwing it on and tightening it by reversing the technique. Complete the repair by turning on the cold water in the shower and blasting any remaining mineral gunk. Fixing a clogged toilet. A poor flush means that the toilet drain is either partially or entirely plugged. Flushing water will fill the toilet bowl to the brim and possibly overflow. Allow 10 minutes for the water level to drop before attacking the issue with a plunger. However, most clogged toilets are slow drainers. Flush water partially fills the bowl but does not hurry out to clean it. 
the water level stays high for a while before draining to an average height. So if you suspect a problem, test the drainage first. Don't flush the toilet if you suspect a clog. Make the first plunge gently to expel air from the plunger bell, then plunge vigorously in and out. Keep the plunger covered with water. Stick with it, plunging 15 to 20 times if necessary. If the plunger fails to clear a clog, use a closet auger. Keep towels handy to wipe up water that splashes out. Test the drain by letting in small amounts of water, don't use the flush handle. Instead, remove the tank lid and gently raise the flapper valve to allow a cup or two of water into the bowl and see if the water level falls. If it's still plugged, you will have to push the flapper down to restore the seal quickly. For stubborn clogs, spin a closet auger or regular snake through the drain. The hooked spring end should break through the clog or grab the obstruction, such as a rag, so you can pull it out. Once a clog passes the wax ring into the more comprehensive drain, it should move quickly. If the clog resists all your efforts, you will probably have to pull up the toilet. Toilet Seat Repair A loose or wiggly seat is often tightened with inexpensive rubber bushings and seat stabilizers. It's a 15-minute fix which will last for years. Slide on a rubber bushing from the restroom seat tightening kit, with the tapered side facing up toward the restroom seat. Then use the tightening tool from the kit to snug up the nut. Loop the rubber bands round the seat from the stabilizer kit, and center the stabilizers in order that they touch the within the rim of the bowl. Drill a starter hole and secure the stabilizers with screws from the kit. Quick fix for a sluggish toilet. If a flushing toilet worked well within the past and it's in a neighborhood with water, the likelihood is that the rinse holes round the bottom of the rim became clogged with lime deposits. Clearance and siphon holes are crucial for complete flushing action. Albeit the water from the tank will eventually find its way into the bowl, High water volume on the primary surge is important permanently flushing. There has got to be a critical mass of water for solids to be flushed. Use a hand glass to ascertain the holes under the rim of the restroom. Bend a clothes hanger flat and probe the tip into the holes to extend any mineral deposits. Dry rock bottom of the rim, then roll up towel ropes and seal them against the rock bottom of the rinse holes with a plumber's putty pushed against the rock bottom of the rim. Seal the siphon jet hole with another glob of putty. Pour a bottle of lime remover into the overflow pipe. Let it sit for an hour to permit the lime remover to dissolve deposits. Remove everything and flush the toilet several times. Stopping a small plumbing leak. Small water leaks at soldered copper joints are often easy to repair. Leaks in newly soldered copper pipes are rare. Drain the water before you solder. Shut off the water at the most valve and open up nearby faucets to completely drain the pipe with the leaky elbow. Dry the surface of the elbow and sand, 120 grit paper or cloth, round the leaking joint to get rid of all surface corrosion. Apply flux round the whole joint and apply heat with a torch until the old solder melts. Add new solder until a shiny ring of solder shows all round the joint. It's easier to succeed in round the backside of the joint if you bend and take up the top of the solder before you begin. Heat the joint only enough to melt the solder. Let the pipe cool for 5 minutes, then turn the water heater on and cross your fingers that you simply stopped the leak. Summary this module can be summarized as It is feasible to repair chipped enamel on forged iron and steel sinks and make the repair almost invisible with a special enamel repair kit. An aerator can clog slowly as mineral deposits build up or quickly after plumbing work loosens debris inside pipes. Hard water minerals in water build up and clog the spray holes in shower heads. A poor flush means the toilet drain is either partially or entirely plugged. A loose or wiggly toilet seat is often tightened with inexpensive rubber bushings and seat stabilizers.